it doesn't automatically define your level of talent. A no today does not mean it's a no for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm going to say that again because I needed to hear that. Hey, hey, welcome back to another Motivation Monday. It is Christine Horn, the Booking Magnet, and oh, I am so excited for this week. Oh, I'm just drawing good energy to me. I just feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel just joy. I feel beauty. I feel love. I feel excitement. I feel wonder. I feel all the things and I'm sending all that good energy right back to you. This week, I want to talk about the word no. And look, we're actors, whether you're doing this part part time or whether you're doing this full time. No is just a part of <laughs> no is just a part of our existence. And I understand how it doesn't feel good to be told no. I'm super sensitive, right? So even though I can be very direct with people, ever since I was a kid, when I hear the word no, it just, it just, it just hits me a certain way, right? It just hits me like, oh, oh, like little stabs, like, oh gosh, that hurts. And but of course, as of being an actor, we have to develop thick skin. You, this industry is not for the faint of heart. We hear no more than we hear yes. That's just what it is, point blank and the period. And what's coming up for me today that I wanted to share with you and just place in your spirit is that a no does not define you. So whether you audition for something and you're told no by not getting the role, you're told no by not getting signed to that agent you wanted to sign with, like whatever it is, the headshots your agent doesn't like, like the no, the amount of no's we hear in our life. I mean, <laughs> the average person does not have to deal with this level of rejection. And it can be easy to start identifying with the word no. And so today I just wanna remind you that the no does not define you. It doesn't define your worthiness. It doesn't automatically define your level of talent. A no today does not mean it's a no for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm gonna say that again, because I needed to hear that. A no today does not mean it's a no for the rest of your life, right? Sometimes no means not now. Sometimes no means no, you weren't supposed to be with that person. You weren't supposed to be in that project. You are not supposed to be with that agency. Like just, just trust, just trust that it's a no for a reason. And trust that there is another version of events that's worked out especially for you. I know it's super easy and I, I will be lying if I said I didn't ever have this feeling where you just want a gig really bad or you just want an opportunity so bad and you claimed it to be yours. Why? Because that's what we do, right? We speak life into our dreams. Yes, I want that role. Yes, I want to play that character. Yes, I want this opportunity, right? So that's that's fair. Like we, that's how we show up. We, we want to manifest, at least I do. But I've learned to be like, when it's a no, a very clear no, even though it stings, I don't let it define me. My default is not what's wrong with me. Why did they say no to me? It's like dating. Somebody hits on you like, hey, can I get your number? No. They weren't, they weren't the one for you because the one for you will see you. The one that is that wants you will want you for who you are because of not in spite of who you are and yes it can hurt hearing all those no's all those no's all that rejection but the more you remember that you are special you are unique you are one of a kind wonderful you have a gift that only you can share with the world you have an assignment you have your your special anointing over your life then that no won't it won't affect you as long so I won't pretend that it won't hurt for the moment. Go ahead, let it hurt for the moment. It's gonna sting. Oh, oh it's gonna sting. They, they sting. But you know, I am I have enough wisdom and, and skin in the game to know that I have talent. I have a gift that the world needs to see. And so do you. So this week, if you hear no, just know that it's not personal. You can always say yes to yourself. Console yourself, love on yourself, tell yourself you're worthy, tell yourself you're talented, tell yourself you're good enough. And if this just wasn't the situation, the opportunity, the project for you. Do you have to understand it? No. 
it just is what it is. I just don't want you to sit in the no too long. And I don't want it to carry over into worthiness issues. All right. I hope you received this with the love intended because I know it's, it's challenging, but this is what we signed up for. And people in different areas of life, you know, in other, in other uh, what you call it? People who have other careers. <laughs> I can't even think of it, right? People who have other careers. You know, they hear no's in different ways. We hear it in a very unique way. So just, just keep your head up because we need you. We need your gift. All right, that's all for this week. Remember, you are special. You are one of a kind, wonderful. Don't rob us of sharing your gifts, okay? And don't rob yourself. Do something this week that gives you your own yes. How can you give yourself a yes this week? Try that out. I'll see you next time. Bye.